Well, here's a new one. This calf is about 30 seconds old. My dog knows what's good for him. He'll stay in the damn truck. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah, you're happy. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. So, well, see, we got a straw. Sniper, you stay the hell in there. She'll get you. She'll get you good. Sniper got turned out for a little while yesterday just to play. And uh, he went ahead. Oh, enough, girl. And he, uh, he, uh, he got himself into trouble. Anyhow, it's nice that it's not 40 below now, so I'll come back to this one in a little while. We lost, we lost a calf the other night. We had two calves born and we had, well, I shouldn't say, we had to pull a heifer's calf. And it's one of those deals where I sure as heck don't remember breeding these commercials this early because so I don't know if I had a bull jump the fence or if I uh, if I just thought out of a giggle I would breed a couple or what because I sure didn't write it down but I had a black commercial that I had bred and uh, she needed help. one of Wyatt's half-blood Sementals. He was hoping for a streak of white across his face, but didn't get it. And then there's a yellow tag black one laying there. It's got a hip out of socket or something we got to deal with, but then it's another half-blood. You can see Elba sees the dog in the back of the truck. Anyhow, little, there's a half a dozen calves sitting over there having fun. A couple more over here. I said sniper went and toured her evil eye with the 90. She's got a, her, uh, she's the mother of a bull we call Bucking Awesome. And then that's her Sackic son. There's another bird and down calf sucking there on 55B. So we've had a few calves lately. Like I said, we're about 15 calves, so we're not. We're not going great guns or anything like that, but like I said, we've been cold, cold, cold again. It's not much fun, 40 below, because you just go out every hour, every hour and a half, and just keep checking them. And I'm glad we weren't getting 15 calves a day, but we still don't sleep any. But like I said, with the being snowing, it just stopped snowing here an hour ago. Uh, 41B, you can see the green take, maybe you can't see it. Right here, anyhow, she's she's due to calve in the next few days, so she could be ready anytime because we've had we've had some at two weeks early and then I've got one right now that I'm certain is going to calve of Wyatt's. It's actually the one from Wyatt's uh, the video of our AI video that I made. And I'm certain she's going to calve to the AI, but she's a week overdue now. So I'm not too concerned about that. Just, I'm pretty sure she's going to calve. So, anyway, there's the 27B there. We'll just let her keep licking that calf. And Kids are at church right now. I stayed home to take care of Mama Bear. So, but we're gonna put out a bunch of straw. Uh, I'll flip you guys around. So, we're gonna put out a bunch of straw later. 
get everything so it's dry and make everything happy 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 so but like I said I can handle this temperature a lot better than that minus 40 shit I'm done with that crap but I know it's not done with us I'm just moving over kind of driving in the deep snow just I had a heifer go for a tour here and I don't know she's not cavy or nothing she just not satisfied with what she's getting fed I guess so you go back so yeah, like I said she's not cavy so anyhow I'm gonna head out back home now and but I've like I said I guess I forget where I'm talking anyhow we're gonna straw everything up really good when the kids well after we have some food and go out and I got a bunch of straw already lined up um, so my wife broke her ankle she we had a cow and a calf or a, a heifer calf and then a cow claimed the calf so I'll take you with me to my gate so the cow claim the heifer's calf stay there and uh, so my wife came with us the kids and she, her job was to drive the truck because like I said she's not you know I I call her breakable because she's had some problems in the past and she got into a wreck and broke her foot off one time so anyhow she gives me grief about it so I I tell her that she's she's breakable so she's not allowed to get out and chase cows she has to drive the pickup so I'll shake you guys all over well I do this gate up anyhow so this cow this cow she had claimed the calf and then she went ahead and calved so which was fine but then the heifer wasn't smart enough little snipe nation the heifer wasn't smart enough to walk the, her calf away she went and claimed the cow's calf with her and so the cow and the heifer would just take turns and they go back and forth licking each calf so we went to go separate it and I was gonna take the cow and get her in and the heifer ran away. So about 20 cows ran with her and so I yelled back to my wife and said, take Tristan back and let him steal the heifer's calf because the cow was licking hers. And so I hollered back to go steal the calf and we, we were halfway down the field and we were about a quarter of a mile away and all of a sudden we heard this hollering and then my phone rang and it was Jessica saying that mom had broke her leg but the Tristan had grabbed the calf and the cow come after him and Tristan was a kind of oblivious to it because he was just in the zone of getting this calf and so his mother wasn't gonna let him get hit so she jumped out of the truck and ran after and got in between the cow and him and she was able to scare the cow off but when she turned she slipped on the ice and then when she fell she uh, hit her foot on a big frozen manure pile and like I said that pretty darn hard and frozen it was like minus 40 out and, and she broke her ankle and so she had to get surgery to get that repaired so that took it took three days before they could fit her into surgery and so we've got her home now, so that part's good. And like I said, then I had, when I was dealing with getting her home, then I had to, this heifer cabin, and she had company, so I didn't want to leave her. And I knew the heifer hadn't calved yet, but I thought, oh, well, I guess. Come on, Snipe. So I thought, well, we'll, uh, we'll pull this calf, I guess. And so when I give her, an extra, you know, give her some time, and then when we got into the, we got into the, got her into the krell, and then I had to go get a trailer and haul. Uh, I just got a phone call there, so that's what changed the video. So anyhow, I had to get a, had to get the stock trailer and haul her over to the barn, and 
And then when we were, uh, we got her into the maternity pen, then proceeded to start pulling this calf. And I knew the calf was pretty darn big, but the heifer's a nice roomy heifer. And uh, we got pulling and, and I'll tell you, I should have cut it out because by the time we got the calf out of her, I had to, I had to do a lot of work and the we killed the calf pulling it so i should have cut it out the side door but you can't make every right decision like i said the first i thought you know lots of times with these angus calves if even if they're big if you pop their heads out or get their sh front shoulders you're good to go i mean like the old days when we had lots of charlets there were slots we you pulled them every every inch of that jack to get them out but but anyhow i i got to the very end of the jack and it took everything I had, I, and we we killed the calf. So, but livestock, dead stock. That's what happens. So, anyhow, so now we're gonna start milking her. We didn't milk her yesterday. We should have, but we'll milk her tomorrow, and and we'll start. Uh, we'll wait for a twin to be born. So, as you can see, wide got him. We got wide another truck, so he's good to go. And Ty's truck is hooped, so we got to get Ty another truck. But this is my calf warmer or hot box, is what I call it. So I put calves in there. It's got a heater in the back that blows air in. That's the heat, and you can put a couple calves in there. And then you have this little vent hole so the moisture can leave. So that's where those calves go when it's cold out. And then I I feed them a little colostrum and, uh, and then they go back with their moms so they don't go to the barn. Only emergencies go there. So anyhow, this video's got way too long and I've ambled and rambled all I can and made people think I'm really stupid, but that's okay. Anyhow, we're having fun, we're calving, we're doing what we want, we're doing what we love. So be sure to comment rate and subscribe and have yourselves a great day. Take care.